Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Angelo, your social Buddha. Today I want to share five tips uh, to get the uh, partner of your dreams. Uh, I know a lot of people have uh, are looking for a special someone, for a special partner in your life to share what you're actually living. And a lot of mistakes are made, especially the one that uh, you want somebody in your life to fulfill something for you. But rather, think about the fact that you want to share your life with somebody else, so you don't want to change your life uh, you don't want to uh, try to fit your life into somebody else's. You want to share with them your enjoyment, what you're passionate about. So I want to share with you guys five tips that uh, are going to help you get that partner of your life. And one of them is to actually know what kind of person you want in your life. Know specifics and details about that person. How do you want her or him to be? Uh, including personality-wise, including what they like, uh, what their hobbies are and what they look like it's very important that you know what kind of uh, person you want in your life and secondly uh it's know yourself uh know why you want this person in your life make sure it's not to fulfill an empty emotion something that is fake something that is not real uh you don't want somebody to fulfill uh, a fake emotion within yourself because then uh, it's not real. When you get that person and you, they fulfill that fake emotion, you will notice that's not what you want in life. So make sure you're a balanced person and you know yourself and that when you project this that to the world, you know exactly why you want that person in your life. And that should be to actually share your life with that person, to share what you're passionate about, to share what she or he is passionate with you rather than actually uh, fulfilling something emotional oh uh, and the third step is to actually uh, uh, get out there and do things uh, to actually find this person but don't do them to actually meet this person do things that actually bring you enjoyment uh, do activities do hobbies uh, do uh, exercise do uh, a little bit of different things that actually bring you joy rather than doing them to find this person because at the end of the day if you're seeking this person you're only in need and neediness will only push this person away so stop searching for this person let go of searching for this person and just get out there and do stuff that you like and you'll eventually meet someone that actually lives in that circle so another thing that I want to share is also uh, the fourth step is to actually let go of meeting this person let go of actually seeking for the person like I mentioned in the last step and stop uh, being attached to the outcome uh, being attached to the outcome will only bring you suffering so stop searching for this person you already know what kind of person you want in your life with the other steps so he will come along she will come along he will come along as long as you have a vision of it but stop uh, searching for it and stop being having the need for it and the fifth step which is the last one is to actually uh, let people into your life and buy people into your life always being aware of where they fit uh, if they're actually that person that you're seeking for uh, or uh, to what level do they fit into your life rather than making exceptions and for that need that you actually think you have making exceptions and and getting into relationships that actually are toxic and it's not really where you want to be we all make exceptions for people if you know what you want, go after what you want. Don't make exceptions. You can also let people into your life by also know where they stand rather than actually going full throttle into it and then ending up in relationships that you really won't want to be into. So this is the five steps I want to share with you. I hope you enjoyed them and I'll see you on the next video.